Midmo Yo's weekly here's the deal. Now here's the deal this week is how do you handle someone that's wasted, sloppy, wasted, drunk, and they walk up to the table, they're completely out of sorts, right? They buy in the middle of the roll and they just yard sale. They yard sale their chips all over the damn place. Um, they spill their drink into your rack, your chips get all wet, it's a, it's a shit show, basically. What do you do in that situation? Now, uh, Chiro says um, he, this never happened to him. I have seen this happen. I have seen it, not to me, but I've seen it happen at a table where somebody just stumbles into the table and just yard sales and their drink goes all over the damn place. I've seen somebody stumble in the hallway, like behind the table and stumble into people playing craps and knock into them and it causes ships to go everywhere. It's a disaster. Um, I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, you know, I do my show, my, my, my cocktails and crap show. You know, I like my whiskey, um, but I'm definitely not, not a drunk, right? I'm, I'm a take the edge off. I'll sip whiskey all night long, but I, you know, I, I, I just, I go from here to here. I just like even keel. Um, I don't do well with drunks. I don't do well with drunks. I, if you know my history, I moved to Seattle to play in a band. Um, I left Jersey. I drove my bass and my amp and like a suitcase full of clothes and a couch. That was, I brought my whole life to Seattle to be in a band. The band was great. I'll give you a link someday. You can listen to all of our music. Our band was great. We did, we were very popular. We did really good. That's how I met my wife, in fact. Um, but my drummer was a drunk. Um, and he would come to shows drunk and he was, he was a mess, right? We ended up losing him. He was my best friend from, from the later years in high school. I, I grew up with Dave um, and he had a rough time, man. He, he, at that time of his life, he was drinking way too much. He was coming to shows drunk um, and sloppy, like sloppy drunk um, and just doing dumb shit. And I made a decision back then, I was like 21, 22, 23 years old in that, in that age that I liked to party, I had fun, did my thing, but I, once I saw what it did to, to him and how it broke the band up and actually destroyed some friendships along the way, I, I just, I can't do it. I can't do, I can't do drunk. Um, I can't be around it. I don't like it. Um, if I'm at a table and somebody is sloppy and I've been at tables where people are sloppy and they're slurring and they're just doing dumb crap, I leave. I, I can't, my hair stands up and I have to get out of that situation. I just don't want to be around it. It reminds me of, triggers me, I guess, I guess of old stuff. I can't do it. I can't do, I can't do sloppy drunk. So for me, if this were to happen, I'm out of there. Um, if somebody's walking by in yard sales, that's a different story, but somebody at my table, I can't be around. I, I just, it, it just, it just causes me agita for whatever reason. And I, and I tell you this, and I've told my students this, I tell my, my wife, my daughters this, um, if your hair stands up, right? Like you get that pang in your, in your gut. You're like, Ooh, this, that didn't feel right. Trust it. Your, your gut's telling you something. Your vibe is telling you something. And when I'm around anybody who's sloppy like that, my hair always stands up. I just get this weird, like rush. I'm like, you know what? It's time to get the hell out of here. So Mo, uh, Chiro, I'm out. If I see somebody's wasted, I'm out. If my shit gets yard sailed on, the first thing I'm doing is covering my rack. I'm literally covering my rack. I'll get you know, whatever, whiskey and whiskey sour all over me if I have to, but I'm covering up my chips. Um, you know me with the lammers, right? I never not know what's in my rack. I always have lammers. I've always got my chips separated. If my stuff gets yard sailed, I know exactly to the dollar what I had in my rack. I'm never confused. So if that happens, we can go to the camera and I will tell them I've got $563 in my rack, go to the tape. And I can, I can for sure document that in my rack. So that's my pro tip of the day for y'all. Um, know what you got in your rack in case something like that happens. All right. So there's my, there's my answer to your, here's the deal question. Um,